ist okay. So, okay. Na, Lettland stand auf 400. This Latvian electrical wall unit doesn't match German construction norms. The actual cabinet is too small and its insulation doesn't meet German standards. Bernd Lomke encounters problems like this every day. He's currently working on site in the Latvian capital, Riga. Around half the skilled workers here come from Germany. These workers are assembling facade sections for a fixed price. They came to Riga on a cheap flight. These days it doesn't make much difference whether I drive from Osnabrück to Munich or fly to Riga via Hamburg. It costs almost the same amount. And the German workers' hourly wage is the same in Germany and in Riga. These workers are Latvians. Six of them are doing the same work as three German colleagues. The German company's advantage is that they're more effective and that lands them a lot of contracts. The Latvian builders achieve less due to a disastrous system of organization on the job. They're still split up into so-called brigades. Each one is given its own working area and a list of things to do each morning. They complete the job on hand, and if they finish early, they sometimes don't know what to do next. That's a serious problem. We don't have it in Germany because we're probably more flexible. There is a lot of construction work going on in Riga. Throughout the city, new shopping centers, houses and office blocks are being built. In the years before EU membership brought prosperity to Latvia, many skilled construction workers went abroad. This man stayed. I think it's okay that skilled foreign workers are working here. I'm not envious. On the contrary, we can learn a lot from them about work safety and organization. A number of different languages are spoken here. Latvian, Russian, German and English. Jakob Buchmüller comes from the German city of Erfurt. He's responsible for insulation. Like many of his fellow Germans, Buchmüller sleeps in a container while he's on the site. He shares a room with a colleague. No one plans to stay here for long. I'm a bit older, but my co-workers are young, and they have two or three children, and they want their father at home with them. This office building near the center of Riga costs some 20 million euros. Jan Brink has met up with potential tenants. Two-thirds of the office space have already been rented, and the faster the building is finished, the sooner the money will start to flow. We pay close attention to quality, because that means we as a German company stand out from the local market. Of course, if construction work is done faster, that gives us an economic advantage, because we can start renting out space earlier and have to pay less in bridging loans. Giving German workers jobs at a fixed price is paying off. The building will be completed on schedule. It's time for Bernd Lomke to take a breather. He worked on sites in the Netherlands and Belgium before coming to Riga. He and his wife live near Osnabrück. He misses home. When I finish work on a Saturday evening and I have Sunday off, then I start to think about the folks back home and how the family's doing. And that becomes a problem. Bernd Lomke and a colleague head for the old city center, where they come across a sculpture of the Bremen town musicians. Bremen and Riga have had close ties ever since the era of the Hanseatic League. Bernd Lomke is by no means the first German craftsman to have worked in Latvia.